Hey, what's going on guys? This video is for just a cut a quick video show you I have Windows 7. This is probably works on 8 as well. Um, but I started my computer and it boots up, but instead of going into the Winu uh, Windows menu, it comes up here and it says reboot and select your proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key. Okay, well, unfortunately, I have two hard drives inside my tower here. I have a Western Digital external hard drive that I put in there, and unfortunately, it's trying to boot from that. So it's trying to boot from the wrong hard drive that doesn't have Windows installed. So this only typically happens if uh, things get messed up, or if you have two hard drives in there, or if your computer thinks to boot from the uh, disk inside instead of the actual hard drive. So let me show you exactly how to do this. If you see the screen, you'll hit any key, and nothing really will happen, and then this will come up again because, obviously, you know, you didn't fix the problem. So, it's going to be a little tricky with uh, one hand here while I'm filming, but you want to go Control. This is for Windows, of course. Control right here, left side of the keyboard. Control, Alt, and then Delete. And so, I don't believe it's the three held down at the same time. you got to go kind of quick. you got to go, you know, uh, push it kind of, uh, let me see if I can put it underneath my chin here. And do it here. So control alt delete. There we go. So real quickly, one at a time, real quickly, just kind of roll it like that. One, two, three, you know, all at different times. And then this is going to start up here. Now read the directions right here. Mine is delete for setup. So I'm going to hit delete. Okay. And you got to hit it fast. And then you're going to enter in this. Yours might be F8. If you miss it, you're going to have to do control alt delete again until you see that, and it goes pretty quick, so you got to just go, bah, 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 delete, 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 or F8, 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 like that, and then you'll enter into the screen. you got to catch it during that little portion of the menu there on startup. Okay, so mine setup was delete, so I went, bah, 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 bah. then this screen enters right here. Now let me show you exactly the problem here. Okay, primary master not detected, blah, 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 don't worry about that. Uh, my SATA1 is HP DVD-R writer, okay. If you want to get technical, we can look through that, but... Let's be concerned about up top here. Okay, so let's scroll all the way over to boot right here. So we're going to go four over. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, we're four over here. Now let's look at boot device priority. Let's hit enter. And as we can see here, okay, yep, right there, there's my problem. I'm firing up from Western Digital my external hard drive that I put in there. So that's my secondary hard drive. That does not have any Windows application uh, running operating system on that one. That's my problem right there, guys. So, and then the second boot one is CD-ROM. It's totally, totally off here. So let's switch this around here, guys. So what we got to do here is if, uh, let's uh, first, let's hit enter here for priority number one, okay? If you do not see the one you want to see, which I don't see the one I want to see, um, so we're not looking good right now. I can't launch from any of these. All right, so we got to go back. We're going to hit exit here, and we're going to go back, and we're going to go back again to the first portion of this menu. All right, now let's go down to hard disk drives. Okay, so, and then we're going to hit enter. Okay, now we're going to hit enter again. See, there we go. That's the one I want, the 4M Hitachi. Okay, that's the second drive, so we need to switch these around. So we're going to hit enter for first drive. And this is, again, for the first drive upon startup. So we want to switch this. So we're going to go down until Hitachi is highlighted. And then we're going to hit enter. Okay, so now my first drive is Hitachi. My second drive is 3SWDC. And then I'm going to go exit. We're going to come back to boot device priority. Again, hit enter. First drive, boom, for Hitachi. Second drive is that one. Okay, let's go exit again. Okay, just double checking here. Okay, good. And then what we're going to do here, guys, is we want to go back to boot device priority. We're going to hit enter. And we see first boot device is our four Hitachi. Second is CD-ROM. And you can leave that. It doesn't really matter because, I mean, it's going to fire up Windows with the first one. So that's exactly what we want. First boot drive, whatever has the Windows operating system on, that's the one we want. 
You can disable this one if you want. We're just going to disable it for the heck of it. Okay, so now we just have one boot device. Fantastic, guys. And now we're going to come down here to save and exit. F10. F10 right here. Save configuration changes and exit now. Enter. Okay, and now we're going to fire it up, guys. And just to show you that this bad boy works, here we go. I got my express gate thing. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. And this is the setup menu again, where you would hit your deleter F8, whatever you want. Sorry, it just takes a second. I have this on startup. Here, we'll skip this and uh, click up. I only have four, three seconds left. Press exit to boot. So now, because I switched the priority, boom, starting windows. There we go, guys. Now we're talking about business right there. So I switched my priority of the, the driver disks, of course, as you guys just saw. I'm starting windows, and it comes. And sorry, my windows screen kind of takes a while to fire up, but here we go, guys. We're all set. My windows 7 screen's there. You log in, and everything's good to go from now on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and also thumbs that video up if it helped you out, guys. And you guys take care and have yourselves a great, great night. And if you guys are wondering what kind of screen we're looking at here, that's a Dell 30-inch screen. I'll have some reviews uh, and some links where you can read more about that in the description box below. Not to mention my keyboard here, my uh, wireless keyboard. And if you want to check out, link to my mouse there as well, Logitech. Pretty cool little features for a computer, guys. You guys have a great day.